Thank you, Dan, and uh, thank you to the IAEA and the Commission for asking me to come along and speak to you today. And I'm going to uh, set my remarks very, very clearly from the perspective that TTIP is good for business uh, and good for employment. Um, uh, Tom mentioned many of the studies that have been done in this regard. I believe on balance that we actually have more positive information coming from the projections. Um, however, I believe the real advantage of these trade negotiations is the opportunity to transform the perspective of Irish companies in approaching the American market. And I'm going to talk a little bit more about that in just a moment. Um, Dublin Chamber has been in the business of helping companies export for many, many years, and um, I believe that these sort of trade negotiations really help companies to change their perspective and change their behaviours. Um, delivering reductions in tariffs, delivering removal of tariffs, delivering simplicity in regulation, removing duplication of compliance procedures, and all of that while respecting and acknowledging um, the standards that we have here in Europe and the standards in the United States has got to be a good thing. We're already doing a lot of business, as David said, with the United States. Um, about half of our exports here from Ireland that don't go to European countries are going into the United States. Um, and we have this fantastic history of um, FDI going in both directions. Let's not forget that because Irish companies actually employ as many people in the United States as United States companies employ here in Ireland. And embedded behind that, we have this very strong diaspora of about 40 million Americans who claim Irish heritage. So we have a very, very strong relationship between Ireland and the United States. And it might be fair to say that that relationship over the last number of decades has been driven at one level by government and large corporations, and at another level, uh, at the level of family and friends and student exchanges. And I think the TTIP actually opens up the opportunity for us to bridge the gap between those two levels, to bring in the uh, plethora of small and medium-sized businesses into this relationship and to help them to look at the American market seriously. To date, it has been the large companies that have had the resources to work around the trade tariffs. Small companies simply haven't had the deep pockets or the bandwidth of personnel to actually do this. So TTIP can help to reduce the cost of doing business, change the behaviours and really uh, bring a focus on the American market. One of the uh, mechanisms within TTIP that hasn't been mentioned so far here today is this concept of an SME chapter which is this go-to, one-stop shop of information on transatlantic trade. And I think that is a really important part of uh, the delivery mechanism for TTIP. Um, on the American side, there are many different programs, the market access program and so on, that help exporting companies, particularly exporting SMEs. On the European side, we have things like the Enterprise Europe Network. Um, but we need to make sure, despite our considerable experience on both sides, that when we put in place a mechanism focused focused on transatlantic trade as an outcome from TTIP, that it really is effectively resourced and accessible by SMEs, and we need to make sure that that is done right across the European Union and right across America. 99% um, of all our companies in Europe could be described as SMEs, and the same is true for the American market. So I think those type of companies are at the very heart of this agreement and at the very heart of the job creation that I believe this agreement can actually uh, make. Um, 
there is, of course, the issue of competition, and, and that has been mentioned to mentioned uh, by David. U.S. market, U.S. companies will look more seriously at the European market. But I think for the Irish market, that is less of a challenge. We are well used. Thirty years of being part of the European Union, we are well used to competition from larger nations. Uh, that has made us stronger and more determined. And I think where the market is open. Uh, we can actually do a lot more um, to uh, develop our companies and develop their ambition and develop the expansion of markets for them. Um, the uh, ISDM uh, has been mentioned, the investor state dispute mechanism. Um, I think, as David said, this is an important piece to have in the agreement. I think the important piece from my perspective is to ensure that this is open to companies of all sizes and all sectors. Um, and that it's not seen as just something for the large corporations. So overall, uh, TTIP, I believe, is good for business, um, but it should be remembered as we move forward towards the closing of the negotiations that the needs of the SMEs should be to the fore of the negotiations. And I would say, in closing, I think it's also important, we've had a lot of attention on this deal, let's get it done. Let's get it done as quickly as possible. I would take dispute with Tom over that. I think it's really important that we start delivering for companies throughout Europe and companies in Ireland uh, as soon as possible. Let's keep the pressure on the negotiations. Thank you.